Trini, it's closet confessions time. Where are you? Yeah, you know I come because I've been in the dungeons. Boho chic. Ah. Oh. That's what we're doing today. So we're going slowly through about eight different styles. But what are the things to think about to have in your wardrobe to create those styles? Because everyone can create any style. They're just going to think, which one do I want to be today? Let's I'm dive just, into this rail. Yeah, like, when I sort of went on the on downstairs, I was thinking there's a lot of pattern in boho. So, you know, I chose this because this to me represents a real element of boho. It's that lovely Aztec print. This is real boho to me. This is Rachel Zoe, you know, years ago feeling. Yeah. It's not her clothing. I had it made in India, but it's like there's a tassel, there's a flow, there's a pattern. So that's why I chose that. This is something I bought from Forte Forte. And again, it's a pattern I don't wear it. It's a pattern that deserves a pattern. It deserves a long, lots of long gold necklaces. So we'll style it up maybe with some gold trousers. <laughs> okay, this is classic for me. Whenever I wear boho, and there's a few outfits I'll wear here, definitely, and other ones where I'm thinking, could I get back into it? Because I feel it's a very long-haired style. Yeah. You know, it's something that when you have shorter hair, that feeling of that sort of free-flowing, you know, think of the inspiration of boho would probably be Woodstock Festival mm -hmm. in the 70s. So I'm taking elements of that here. Um, you know, long skirts. I always think of long skirts, 70s again for that. This is actually a 1970s old vintage Emilio Pucci. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking that definitely has elements of boho in it. I think I'll style it up. Also not be caricature, but to be modern. This is a 22-year-old Prada coat, but that's definitely boho. And I wore that with long necklaces, a long chiffon dress, that's how I wore it before and I haven't got that dress anymore. How could I style it up? This is a Zara coat that many of you want to know if I'll ever sell it. This is my newest acquisition from Oriton in Australia and they gifted it to me, but I just feel there's definitely elements here of boho chic. Gorgeous, we haven't yeah. seen that before. No, we haven't seen that before. So, you know, having big floppy faux fur coats over chiffon dresses, I feel that's boho. Having patterned coats is boho, capes, this is a really old beaver one I got in Bath. Mm -hmm. And a classic boho is, this is an original Aussie Clark dress, which I sewed down the front on. I'm gonna show this to you now, actually. There's a couple of things I'll show you. But first of all, we'll see it when I had my hair really curly. This is from a evening I had out with my husband. That is a personification of me, of that big sleeve and that drape and sort of subtle sexiness. It's not overtly Dieter von Tee's sexiness boho. There's a little nip out here. It's, it's mm -hmm. literally about no bra, the basis of burn your bra in the seventies, you know, yeah, and the inspiration the from it. Yeah, <laughs> I agree, exactly. Lila now loves it. It's a really old Zara jacket, but that's really boho. Yeah. Velvet, embroidery beautiful colours and things like this to me it's like don't wear them for 10 years more then wear them and they are like a vintage cherished piece and they should stay in your wardrobe forever so even though it's a kind of fast fashion chain it becomes a lifestyle decision to keep it forever yeah a lot of these pieces are quite summery Trini so I'm excited I to see how are. you style them I know I'm just thinking how I'm going to winterise them mm. that's my chance I'm going to get off the antithesis of boho is what I'm currently wearing minimalist black so this is kind of the top has boho-ness and also the sort of slightly 17ness of the trousers but I need to do up the zipper, thank you Jemima, and I need to kind of boho it. So I'm just going to start with some necklaces on it, just taking the colours. Yeah. Um, and then I'm thinking, what would I do a top? Because it still looks really corporate and kind of not boho for me. I think this is quite a good way to get into boho though. It could be a good way. This is probably not right colours together, but I might then go and change my bottom half. But let's just see. Oddly, even though these don't have every single colour in common. There is that feeling beginning to develop. I like the elements of the jewellery together. You know, it's hanging necklaces, it's kind of textures and patterns together. The trousers are a little bit structured, but it's about like, if I want to do boho inspired in the office, mm. this would be it. Whereas boho inspired on a beach is a very different thing. Yeah, and yeah. they're not exactly the same colours, but there are there is a relationship, isn't There's there? There's a relationship. I mean, they're not identical. I'm being a bit lazy here, but this is really old ASOS. This yeah. is Zara, this is, I got from Brazil. These are Victoria Beckham's and those are a vintage shop. You know, it's like, you're taking things from everywhere. Yeah. This to me is classic boho. And the elements of the boho-ness here are, it's quite a conservative dress. It's a pretty dress, but it's that little faded embroidery. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's an old Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. I've got this tie and I'm thinking for boho, instead of being the belt, would it go around my neck? That's a sort of boho moment. Yeah. Around the neck, something. And we were just saying about the headband, you wouldn't do. I, with this, I wouldn't because I think you've got to just go with what your look is for 
where you are in life. So I'd rather just make my hair a bit messy like that. I might do a tokenism with that. And this is where I put these on and I saw and I think, is that too little girly? You know? Sounds oh, really cute. <laughs> but um, I maybe could do that. Yeah. Just instead of a full on headband. Yeah. And I might do it a little nearer the front. And you've got the ankles out. I've got the ankles out. <laughs> Boots I think are old Zara. The coat is like really old Stella. No, that's too hard on me. I did like the softness of before. Would you keep like the soft lip or would you go a bit darker with it or? I think boho makeup is always soft. I don't think boho makeup has any hard lips or anything. So for this, I'm just going really gently with some dawn on the eye. It's that sort of shimmery moment across my eye like that. There. And then it's about real glow on my lip. I'm just gonna put some Dido on the top, that little pinkiness there and add it to my cheek. It's definitely about glowy face. It's not about blow dried hair. So you need to kind of get some texture in your hair. And sometimes the way I do that is with my Sam McKnight spray. So I might just get some volume there. Oh, such a good smell. But it gives also that floaty messiness, like you've kind of slept in your hair and it's just ended up in a good place. But that to me feels the elements of the boho. I do associate boho with kind of these orangey or pinky tones a lot and this either kind of black eyeliner smoky but that gets into a bit of rock chick so it's soft and for this because it is a warm outfit I'm doing my Koshia shimmer so let me just de-sweat with some miracle blur like that I've just got the warmth in my face so I'm sort of beginning to build up a look here and this is the elements of the flow of the outfit so it's always going to be a kind of trouser that goes with a flare to me boho and flare trousers just are twins. And then there's a sort of extravagance in a sleeve or there's a flow of a fabric in the top. This is an old top shop top. Mm -hmm. And these are old C'est Vie trousers from Italy. But I'm thinking Boho would have accessories, wouldn't they? So I'm yeah. just gonna see here what I might put in and add into the equation. It's sort of how mad you go. I'm thinking, how orange mad do I go? So I can either kind of just do like an orange earring like that I can do that and there's a part of me that wants the boho to go oh, there really yeah. not matchy matchy no because i think that's a little bit too struck i don't know there's something about it which this feels more like the coolness of that boho yes yeah. which i like so i'm gonna actually go with that and i like how you've mixed the stripes with the spots yeah and just not worried about pattern clash bohos don't worry about pattern, mm. pattern clash they kind of love drama yeah um and a little bit of sexiness i haven't yet got the open neck shirt sexiness but that is to come i know we can't see the shoes but what are you wearing Trini? i'm wearing some very mad shoes and i want you to be able to see them when i sit which is oh. just even more color from a clergerie collection years ago and then bag wise i might just go to a little bit more texture and pattern and use this really old zora bag from because I've got in it all the colours of the outfit like that so if it was into spring mm -hmm. I'd be doing that. There's something I like just about not having a structured jacket I mean last week was a lot about structure mm -hmm. and this is about that softness so I feel the jacket would change its boho-ness. Yeah and having the yeah. sleeves loose is really fun. Yeah it might upset me but should we just try? Let's try. See what that does. Okay I don't know if the proportions are right. But there's a few little things I'm going to try. So this could be better with something else, but we're just going to see it because mm -hmm. it's all about its interpretation. Yeah, we haven't seen this before in Closet Confessions, I don't think. So like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel... You know, I'm not against it. No. I'm not against it. I'm not against it at all. It's like there's so much going on that it doesn't matter anymore. And I love those earrings with it now. They're good. You've yeah. convinced me. Yeah, I've convinced you. <laughs> so that's one way we could do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do another one I just thought of that I thought would work well. And this is not exactly the colours, but there's, there is actually, there's the orange and there's the two different shades of orange. And also there's this print being, this is a check and this is a kind of weird check yeah. stripe and this is a stripe. So I quite like the idea of this. It's a great so way we'll to winterize see. it. If we do that, I mean, that to me is the epitome of boho. Mm -hmm. Also, is about the the line of a jacket because having that sort of open line with this little bit of faux fur, that's very boho to me. Mm. And I can just do up the two buttons and have that openness there and have the neatness of the waist so that the waist is drawn up and you allow the flare. Let me go far away so you can see that, Joanna. But you give the flare room to breathe. 
Yeah. You know, because you make the waist high up here. So then I can kind of do the flare and if I want to undo it, I can undo it. Yeah. You're seeing all of the best yeah. elements of this outfit, aren't you? This is actually, to me, the first of our changing that I feel 100% boho. <laughs> I'd even add the bag to this. I don't know if I'd even add the bag. Orange is such a great colour for boho. You're right, it mm. is a real boho shade, isn't it? And I don't have much orange in my wardrobe and that makes me want to add it. Yeah, just that little element. Yeah. So for this look, I'm just going to do a bit of a, a sort of eyelinery moment, but not with strength and just get some colour there and then a little bit there. Sort of slightly, not quite rock and roll chick. I'm just thinking a little bit of an emphasis on some eyes. It wasn't that flick boho, it was more smudgy. It was probably just quite big lashes and quite big soft lips. So we're gonna go back to the soft lip, but I'm wearing a deep shade. So I did say at the beginning, boho wouldn't do deeper shades, but I'm just gonna do plumminess on this. Maybe, maybe it's just, it feels fresh more than taking it. Freya lip glow. Boho has got elements of sequin in different forms, but these are really old. The Topshop, I think. The Halpen. Um, Halpen for Topshop. Yeah. <laughs> um, Topshop is top as well, and this is that pussycatness. But I think boho can be pussycat, but it was definitely bring it around and let it drape down. Yeah, that's really you boho. Know? And I think that's the boho ness, whereas this pussycat becomes, what would you call it, Charlie? Maybe more 60s. More 60s or more just sort of French. Yeah, but more know, chic. A little chic French, you expect red lip oh, and a God. black and white, uh, yeah. So I'm going to add to this the classic, the boho favourite and really important, which is the velvet jacket. This is that sort of late 60s, 70s moment, but velvet was a really strong fabric in the 70s. And the trousers as well, the trousers I think also have to be waisted. If they were hipster, it would work because there was lots of hipster jeans. But I think, you know, boho is 70s, not 60s. And 60s was about low waists and 70s was about high waists. And mm. any trousers you get where there's a platform, you remember we talked about this before, the 70s had a bit of a platform yeah. showing like that. So, mm -hmm. But I just think you need that wastedness to work and especially if you're a curvy figure you don't want to be doing hipster trousers because they're not flattering you need to go in the waist yeah i love the psychedelic sequins yeah the psychedelic they're really you're cool. getting, yeah but, it, but there was that life of psychedelia yeah. but the velvet and the colors together and having the little stripe down that's matching it it's very matching that's good this is where's the jacket from i think it was Rida, which is the old um matches matches label yeah, yeah. i right. love that lip glow with it Jenny. it's good it, i just felt it needed the sophistication because sometimes when you're doing something in a modern guise of it yeah. your makeup needs to look modern so if i'd done like you know that boho big lash it would take it into the caricature of trying to recreate a decade and this is all about how do you take something that was in inspired as a look by another decade but bring it into the decade you live in that's so true that inspiration mm. but i love that i would wear that tonight for dinner and i feel good i love the glitz of it mm. there's a shimmerness that boho suits as well yeah those are those shoes shimmer. i know those shoes are zara oh chloe and i wore for something and i just thought how good they were with it yeah yeah I it's no it. pointy closed toe shoe here no way <laughs> so this is like beginning to work up a look which is like evening wear boho and i feel we had this real deliberation because we were talking about do bohos wear tights. Mm. I would feel more comfortable to wear tights with this, but there is that something about that carelessness, that sort of like, I just slipped it on. And so they shouldn't yeah. really wear tights, but we might wear tights. Okay, and have you worn this outfit before, Trini? Not together, I wore this as a skirt over trousers. It's an old Zara thing and I just put it together and because it didn't have much structure, I haven't been drawn to it. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna start to build the outfit and think how would I make this look work? Okay. So I am tempted to say, where are all the necklaces that Boho would wear? And how would I layer them? So we'll go to my nice new layout of Lovely. necklaces. And I'm thinking I could either do something really full on, like that. I don't mind that. It kind of changes it. But it does look like it works because it's got the black and gold. Yeah. I quite like that. I don't like my bare legs. I'm realising for me, I need the tights on. So we are doing tights. Where are the shoes from? Zara. Oh. I feel more comfortable this now, doesn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. friend could work. Mm. That little friend is bouncing out some black. That is a good there. little friend. It's mm. a little friend. And then we might add on... The thing is, with Boho, we could just be layering and layering until we get it mm. in the right place. I feel like the 70s, always, it was all about the colours as well, and it's kind of like that... It's got that Faux element, yeah, it has, that's vibe. right. 
Anyway, we're kind of getting an idea of it. Ooh. But my final thing, which is actually going to bring it all together, is a friend that came out a while ago, but this is so 70s in its feel, which is the cage. We're boho. feeling boho. Mm -hmm. We're feeling boho. We're bold and boho. We're bold and boho. And then just the layering here. I think it would be a little bag. It might be a little velvet pouch bag. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't be too much of a structure bag. There'll be a softness to the bag. I love how you've made <laughs> boho with black because you went from orange. I know, which we said is really boho cool. never wears black. And I suppose this is not just hard black, there's velvet. Mm -hmm. So maybe is the rule that they never wear black suiting. So a pair of wide low trousers. The Max Mara. Yeah. Um, and then this is an old, I think, Principles. Um, and this is Massimo Dutti. But it's really talking about fringe mm -hmm. is an element of boho. And I haven't got a suede fringe jacket. Um, so I'm just saying fringe is a key element. And with that, I could keep it clean like that, or I could put some long dangly earrings. And I'm feeling, instead of necklaces, because I've got a collar on, mm -hmm. I'm going to do a long dangle. Yeah, would you stick to white? I mean, I could just fringe and fringe it. I don't know. Maybe mm. too much. Oh, gold, good. We've got details of gold. gold. Yes, we've got details of gold. Thank you. I mean, but the thing about boho is, is about a hoop, isn't it? Yeah, we Which we done haven't hoops. done. Do you think hoops suit a certain face shape or? I think hoops look really great on strong faces. To do that look, you have to have a really strong bone structure. We talk in jewellery about the more delicate your bone structure, the smaller and more delicate you need to go. So this is kind of a little hoop. I like it. it works. It's a flash between the hair. A little flash like yeah. that, would that be enough? Also, it's really interesting putting those two textures together. Yeah. The jacket and yeah. the fringe. I mean, they but have a very strong relationship. I think this is what I'd call sophisticated boho, mm. you know, because there's something a little bit towards tailoring, but there's a softness to it. But I have put the shoulder pad underneath because there's no structure. And for me, I can't, because I'm not broad shouldered doing boho, I still want to feel I have a shoulder that everything's draped. And even though you've got a collar, it is, it's not super smart, is it? No. You've really dressed it down yeah. in a fun way. I mean, I'd wear this to work and feel I'm not attempting boho boho. Mm. Um, and then wedge. A little wedge, it's in silver, but what <laughs> um, And then I was just going to do another thing with this if we were going to sort of winterize it. Very fake fur, so it's really electric everywhere. Mm -hmm. Fab. And then it would also work with a gilet, this look, a white gilet yes. as well. And then I might also do, whilst we're here, other things that sort of, does it work in this in this look? Gives us, or is it too much? I do like that. Yeah? I think yeah. I prefer the first option. Um, yeah, it's too much. This is, there's too much going on because I think the button and everything and it's too much fabric. I think if it was sort of a narrowness about it, but the fringe and everything is too much. But that, even that is better. Is it boho anymore? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? The drape? Where do you think we've gone, Charlie? <laughs> maybe like 80s disco. Yeah, maybe I have gone to a bit 80s disco because we got too much shoulder. It's not boho. It's about a mad coat. Boho. It's a wide leg old one from the Central Antwerp. This is a belt, this is an eight year old belt from Prada. Oh. And this is a jumper from Prada. But there's a color thing here where I'm yeah. trying to, in a way, make that modern by just challenging myself on these colors and getting colors that are sort of incorporated in the coat and wearing them between the two parts of the top and bottom. So were you inspired by the coat to pick these colors? Exactly, and the coat, in a way, should lead. You know, there's many more ways we can consider boho. And I haven't thought of everything. You know, we didn't talk about those sort of Western shirts, this one's from River Island, but you know, that done up isn't boho, but undone with a flared mm -hmm. jean and a kind of tweed jacket like that, really fitted, would be quite boho. Yeah. You know, floatiness of fabric, like that's uh, that top I got in India with a flared trouser. Uh, and I did that as an outfit of the day, you can even see it, but there's a boho-ness to the fabrication Beading is something that's very boho. So beading, fringing, applique, a little sequin, texture, corduroy, fringing, all these things, all these little extra details go into that element of a boho. Cut out some things, that to me has an element of boho. You know, slightly an element, you mustn't make it Western, because that's mm. Western, this is nearly Western, but with the length and the flare, it's not. This is an old Simum coat, but coats that have a very high waist to them and they're fitted at the waist and that have a big lapel, that's mm. quite boho. I hope that's given you inspiration of what that is. And, and making it polished and sophisticated is bringing in the velvets and things like that. Yeah. Boho is a really summery look. 
and winterizing it we've tried to show you with that polar neck and everything but i always think i think i'll probably be definitely up for a part two for summer boho exciting thanks jemima so next week next week what do we think should we do sexy oh god i have to get my tits out <laughs> We'll have to think about sexy. We, sexy is definitely an option. Okay, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, I mean, there's sexy, there's kind of, there's architectural minimalist. Have a think of things that you think are ideas and concepts of looks mm. from inspired from a decade, but definitely a style and leave your comments below. Thanks, Julie.